MJ, and you're watching DS Tech Media. And in this video, we're gonna be installing the NetData uh, server monitoring tool. It looks like this. And as you can see, it monitors everything. Your disk usage, memory, swap memory, network utilization, processes, context which is idle jitter and it even gives you uh, explanations of what everything means it even uh, will display containers you can set it up to give you alarms like on this particular server, I have almost all of my disk space used up. It's a really, really comprehensive uh, monitoring tool for your server, uh, even your desktop, if you so prefer. I'll be creating a brand new VM server. And then we'll be going to the NetData GitHub and I'll be showing you how to install it through a regular old SSH terminal. Alright, here we go. Okay, so these are all of the uh, snaps that are offered when you're setting up a server, we don't really need any of these, so I'm just gonna, I guess, skip them. I am, of course, uh, installing the open SSH server, and we're gonna reboot. Okay, so now all we need to do is do the rest of the work from our SSH terminal. Okay, so here we are on Android. And we will need to log into our host. I'm actually going to be bouncing off of another host because I'm having problems with uh, key authentication. <clears throat> and we're going to need to install Git. My bad, we already have Git installed. Okay. So next we're going to go to uh, GitHub. Oh. I just hub. And there it is, net data.
we can paste that. Gonna take care of all of my dependencies, which is mostly uh, well, there's auto make and whatnot. The bin utils. This is a brand new uh, Linux server, so that's to be expected. They've actually made this a lot easier. Uh, when I first installed this, I had to download the uh, source code and build it myself. Okay, so, uh, important information, NetData by default listens on all IPs on port 19999, and we just use system control stop NetData and system control start NetData to run it. Here, let's do... <laughs> Alright, so that data is running as you can see. Alright, let's do. I guess let's open it with Firefox. Here, let's try it on Chrome. I'm not really liking the way it looks there. That's much better. Alright, and just for fun, we can split screen. We'll do... 
we should be able to connect directly now. Let's go ahead and exit this one. This one. Sudo, oh. And yeah, that's that's how you install net data on pretty much any Linux server with that uh, easy installation script. That is how you install the NetData server system monitor. I uh, hope uh, you like this one. I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of other Linux server and desktop tutorials in the future. I'm Jay, and you've been watching DS Tech Media. Please like, share, comment. And subscribe. Uh, we're available on DTube, BitChute, Library, and of course YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs>